Okay, I'm gonna collect more data before I get back to this. This is a very interesting concept, uh, but your space in here is very difficult to work with because it's so small, and every change you do, you have to print up a lot of material, a lot of time, and a lot of tweaking in a very hard to reach place to get it. And this is even too far. You know, you don't really get much repulsion out of it. Um, I might come back to this, but I need more data before I just keep printing random stuff. I already have boxes of printouts. Okay, this is a magnet that has the blotch wall here. So this is all north, this whole side, this is all south, okay, in the middle here. Okay. And this is the same type of magnet with the blotch wall going this way, exact same magnet. Uh, the poles are on the ends, not on the broad face, on the ends, okay? Now, so this, you know, attracts to this pole and repels on this pole, okay? Repels there and attracts there. Here, it's neutral, but of course it's going to want to pull on this side because it's pushing on this side, pulling on this side. Now, if this was aligned with the blotch wall, it maybe goes around to halfway and then it gets sucked back in, right? That's roughly what it does. Now, if this gets aligned with that far pole, this repels it and attracts it at the same time and it gets so much more momentum, it can make it all the way around and then get blocked by the repulsion over here and then come around. So you get a lot more rotational torque if you go past the entire magnet because this is repelling it this way and then this is attracting it at the same time and that combined force of that magnetic interactions causes that thing to easily escape the pole of the magnet and make it all the way around to the repulsion zone here where it's starting to repel it coming back in. So this arrangement allows me to play with the shielding because what I need to do is nullify this repulsion something a shield in here where my fingers are that'll allow it to pass and get into this zone to continue the process not face this resistance get into here so and this also gives me good room to play in here i put my hand in there to build stuff and put metal sheathing and magnets and this and that and the other thing and try to neutralize this so it's not attracted or repelled to this and right when it gets here it gives it back so um, if this is possible which there's claims that it is this will allow me to gather more data and easily or more easily tune a shield to the right magnetic penetration. So I'm going to give this a little whirl for a while. See if I can make any headway with this. I only, I'm only using one magnet because when this go, I don't want the complications of because this one starts to repel. How far did this one? One magnet simplifies it because if because if it ain't doing it with one magnet, it's not going to do it with two. So that's where I'm at. I just wanted to show this demonstration how you get two times more pull then you do from here you only get half the amount of pull because you're only using half the magnet here it, it might even be more than a double but here you get that full kick around get past this gate to right there again and let it go again so I will be posting any advancements or progress I make on the forum in the description link.